Hey guys! Hello everyone! My name is Katya, I'm former pro Muay Thai fighter and current Muay Thai coach. Welcome to my next video where I'm gonna speak about the main mistakes beginners do in Muay Thai. Sometimes not even beginners. So if you recognize yourself, I hope this video is gonna help you to fix these little mistakes and to improve your Muay Thai game. And some of the things here can be really game changing, so keep watching. And the first very popular mistake is dropping your hand when you jab or punch. When you finish your jab or punch, you need to pull your hand back on the same level, on the level of your shoulder parallel to the ground. So when I landed my punch, I'm not dropping hand down and then pull to the face. Yeah, many people do like this. Jab, pump, pump. Punch, pump, pump. Yeah? I understand why beginners do that. Because their arm hurt to keep them up all the time. But this is not the way. Because when you do like this, you open yourself for coming hook, elbow, or high kick or whatever. Yeah? So don't do like this. Remember, you jab, Pull your hand back to the face on the level of your shoulder. So again, this is no, this is yes. Or right hand. This is no, this is yes. Second main mistake is pivoting your lead leg, your lead foot, when you do jab or elbow, yeah? We are not pivoting front foot here. So we do jab with straight step forward. My foot is straight, yeah? So this is no, this is yes. My foot is straight. Again, jab, bam, my foot is always straight. Or elbow, I'm not doing like this. Like this, my elbow has no power. This is no and this is a yes. I elbow, bam, step forward, with my foot straight again, yasha, or up elbow, yasha. For my lead side, my foot is straight, again, jab, bam, foot straight, elbow, foot straight, up elbow, foot straight. And in contrast, my rear side, I do have to pivot. So when I elbow, I pivot my rear foot, yeah? Or when I punch, I do pivot my rear foot. So lead side, this is no. Rear side, Yes. <laughs> and from here comes the third main mistake. Many people don't pivot a lead foot when they do hook. So they do hook like this. Even for rear hook sometimes they don't pivot the foot. But here yes, you have to pivot your foot. So when we do lead hook, we twist our foot on the ball, yeah? Bam. Body hook the same. I do body hook, I twist my left foot. Up, up. So hook. This is yes, this is no. This is yes, this is no. Same for your rear side. When you hook, you pivot your right foot. Or body hook, sham. You do pivot, okay? So this is no, guys. And uh, this is yes. With hook, we do pivot. Bam. Next mistake, number four. People lift up their chin when they do uppercut or up elbow. As well, this is very common mistake. So many people do like this. Or up elbow. You have to control your chin. In Muay Thai, we never lift up our chin because this is really dangerous to get knocked out receiving uppercut or elbow in your chin or hook, yeah? So look, whatever I do, I never move my chin. I don't even move my head. Your chin has to be always down. Shoulders rounded. Hands here, yeah? And look, whatever technique I do, pam, 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 shut, yes, yes, pop, 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 yes. Or knees, shut, shut. I never move my head. I don't lift up my chin. So again, this is no, chin down, pump, yes, this is yes, yes, uppercut, yes, uppercut, yes, this is no, pump, this is no, pump, this is yes, 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 chin always down. Then the fifth mistake, guys, you 
drop another hand when you do elbow. Palm. Oh, palm. Yeah? You pull your hand down so you open your guard. And again, this is no. Yes. This is no. Yes. You cannot open when you do elbow. Palm. Not like this. Palm. Not like this. Yeah, look. My chin is open for elbow or hook coming from my opening, yeah? When you do elbows, you have to keep your guard really high, even higher than when you punch. Because elbows, it's a very close by distance. Bam, bam, bam. When I throw elbows, my opening is right here in front of me, very close. So he's gonna elbow me too. That's why I have to protect myself even more. So when I do elbow, another hand is really high. Look, it closes everything. And again, right elbow, and yes, my left hand is very high. Left elbow, and yes, my right hand is very high. And if I do a left elbow, right elbow, I'm always drawing two parallel lines. Yeah, palm. Palm. Remember this move, almost two parallel lines. One, two, yes. So this is a no. Palm, palm. This is yes. One, two. So look, when I do elbow, yeah, I lift up my guard even higher. Yes. It was here, but with elbow, I put it higher. Palm, or right elbow. Palm. It was here, but now it closes all my head. <music> Then the next mistake, number six. Many people pull in a rear hand when they do jab. Bam. Look, you extend your front arm and you want to pull back your rear arm. Yeah, but this is mistake. Again, you open all your guard. All your face, all your jaw is open now. Yeah? Or sometimes people do opposite. When they do punch, yasha. They pull front arm down. Yeah? Bam. Again, I open all my side. Yasha. So we don't pull another hand down when we do jab or punch. This is no. I have to do palm. I keep my hand here on my face. It doesn't move. I don't pull it back or down. I keep it here on my face. And again, one, come back. One, come back. Or when I punch, yeah, this is no. Yes. This is a no. Yes. This is yes. Punch, punch, punch. My left hand doesn't even move. I keep it right here. Bam. So you have to control your arms. Then the next mistake, guys, when you do knee, when people work on pads, because trainer, he holds pads like this. And some people knee just lifting up your knee. So you knee up, yeah? If a trainer holds pad right here, you just lift up your knee. Bam. And your knee goes just up, bam, but this is mistake because the body is flat, this is body, if I just lift up my knee, I cannot hurt anyone, bam, I need to knee in, and to knee in, I have to push from my hips, so this is not, look, my hips don't work here, my shoulders don't work here, I have to lean my body, I have to push from my hips, this is knee, look, yes, bam, come back, yeah, so I push, and I lean my shoulders and I'm dropping my right arm if I do right knee, yeah? If I do left knee, I'm dropping my left knee. So again, knee has to look like that. Yes, come back. Pa, 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 pa. Yes, come back. So the movement for knee, yes. Push your hips, lean your shoulders back. One, two. Or left knee, yeah, I do switch knee. Put in front. I push my hips. And I lean my shoulders. Yeah, shut, bam. On the back. Yeah, shut, bam. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, shut, bam. Right knee. Yeah, bam. Yeah, bam. So again, the movement for your knees comes from your hips. And yes, you have to push this movement. So knee up. This is no. This is no. This is yes. Yes. Um, okay? And the next mistake, guys, we are moving right to body kicks. So when many people, many beginners do kicks, they kick up. Bam, like this. As well, on the pads with the trainer, it works. Because trainer holds pads like this, so he can really catch your kick, even if you kick wrong. If you kick like this, up. Or like this, up, yeah? 
Some trainers don't even correct students. This is very bad, I always do. <laughs> so you have to kick not up, you have to kick in. Again, because my body is flat. If somebody just lifts up a leg, you cannot reach the goal. You cannot kick anyone like this. Bam, I cannot kick. I have to kick in, so on the side, around. That's why it's called roundhouse, yeah? So when I kick, yes, I'm kicking in. My leg comes around my body and lands with the shin, with this part. It lands on the body of your opponent. So again, this is no. Bam, bam. This is yes, kick in. Yes. Two, two, two. Yes. Bam, or left kick. Yes. Again. Stop. And another mistake when people kick, they are trying to twist their hips, but they don't move their shoulders. So it's really hard to perform, right? Look. Yes. I'm kind of twisting my hips, but I'm not moving my shoulders. Again. Yes. Yes. And yes, it's possible to perform kick like that. But this kick is not very strong. If you want right Muay Thai kick, you have to twist your shoulders as well as your hips. So I'm dropping my arm, bam, and I bring my shoulder in front. Another shoulder goes behind. And I lean a little bit when I kick. So look my movement. All my body is twisting at the same time like a line. Look. Yes. So my shoulders, my hips, and my body is leaning back. I'm not straight, yeah? Like this, being straight is really hard to kick as well. Bam. Even if you do twist your shoulders but you're not leaning, it's hard to perform. Yes. What you have to do, you have to lean, twist your shoulders and twist your hips. One more time. Yes. Come back. Yes. Come back. Yes. Come back. Left kick. Switch, kick, put down. Switch, kick, put down. Again. Switch, kick, put down. Bam. And another mistake again coming from here. People kick and they don't twist in another foot. So, yes. They kick like this. This foot is staying straight flat on the floor, yeah, bump. And then they say, my knee hurts. Of course your knee hurts, because you need to twist your foot when you kick. When you twist, then your knee doesn't hurt. Yes, bump. So when we are kicking, we are twisting another foot on the wall, yeah? For left kick, yeah, shut. I'm twisting here. For right kick, yeah, shut. I'm twisting here, you yeah? don't keep another foot straight. Um, you really can hurt yourself if you don't have well control under your body. So this is no. Bam. This is yes. Yes. Bam. And mistake number 10. When people do push kick tip, yeah? They don't push from hips again. They push only with left. Bam. Shut. This is possible as well, I mean, you can perform that, but this push kick has no power. When you do push kick, you push from your hips. In ideal situation, you have to lift up another foot on the ball. But not everyone can do that because of the balance, so at least don't forget to push from your hips, yeah, when you're starting to train, so... Yes. Same like we did me. Bam. I push from my hips and I lean my shoulders, my upper body, yeah? Bam. So the movement for T is like this. Yes. I'm leaning and pushing from here. If I push only with leg, has no power. If I'm pushing from hips, yeah, that's really strong. So this is no. Bam. Bam. This is yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut. Wow. One more. Shut. Wow. <laughs> and the last one, guys. Bonus tip. 
So when you do clinch, you don't let your partner or opponent to bend your body or your head, yeah? So when I clinch people, I'm trying to put them down, yeah? And many people just let it happen. So you come in the clinch, you grab head and you pull your opponent down. And then it's really easy to do knee in the head, yeah? In Muay Thai, we don't do that. So if somebody grabbing your head and trying to pull you down, you don't let to do that, yeah? We don't do that, we don't do that. You have to keep your head straight. So that's why we train neck. So if somebody in Muay Thai grab you and pull you down, you are losing points. That's very bad. So what do you have to do? You have to keep your neck strong, head straight, yeah? When somebody grab me and trying to pull, I don't let to do it. I stay straight. I don't bend my body. I stay straight. And then we keep clinching. Yeah, pam, pam, pam. Yes. So keep your body straight in clinching. Sometimes, even you keep your body straight, but you let to bend your head. Even Muay Thai fight in Thailand, your head is down and clinch like that, you are losing points. Even though your body is straight, but head like this. You can't do that, yeah? If you have Muay Thai fight in Thailand, pa -ba -ba, clinch, keep your head straight. Don't let to put it down. Someone is grabbing you, trying to put down, but you keep it strong. This is it for today and I really hope that my tips were useful for you and it will help you to improve your Muay Thai game. Bam. And to correct some of your mistakes you might do. So yeah, thanks guys for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!